Why love fades and people in relationships grow apart is one of life's great mysteries. What prevents us from maintaining the passion, attraction, admiration, and closeness we once felt for our partner? Today, we are going to discuss seven behaviors that ruins relationships, leading to decline in passion, attraction, admiration, and closeness. So, let's dive into the seven behaviors that can destroy relationships. Behavior number one, lack of communication. One of the primary culprits is a lack of communication. When partners stop sharing their thoughts, feelings, and concerns, it creates a void between them. Effective communication is essential for building trust, resolving conflicts, and maintaining a healthy relationship. To overcome the lack of communication, it's important to create a safe space for open and honest dialogue. Set aside dedicated time to talk and actively listen to each other without interruptions. Practice empathy and understanding to encourage your partner to share their thoughts and feelings. Behavior number two, constant criticism. Criticism can be a relationship killer. Constantly pointing out flaws, belittling, or nitpicking at your partner's choices can damage their self-esteem and breed resentment. Instead of constant criticism, focus on practicing constructive feedback. When addressing issues or expressing concerns, use I statements to express your feelings without attacking or blaming the other person. Celebrate each other's strengths and acknowledge the efforts put into the relationship. Behavior number three, defensiveness. Defensiveness is a common response to criticism, but it can be highly destructive. When we become defensive, we tend to shut down, dismiss the other person's feelings, or even counterattack. Within a relationship it is crucial to create a safe environment where both parties feel heard and understood. When defensiveness arises, take a moment to reflect on your emotions. Try to understand the underlying reasons for defensiveness and respond with empathy. Create a safe space where both parties can express themselves without fear of judgment or reprisal. Behavior number 4, Stonewalling. Stonewalling occurs when someone withdraws or shuts down emotionally, refusing to engage in a conversation or address important issues. It leaves the other person feeling ignored and unimportant. Healthy relationships require active engagement and a willingness to address problems together. If you find yourself stonewalling, take a step back and communicate your need for a brief break to collect your thoughts. It's important to eventually return to the conversation and actively engage with the issue at hand. Practice active listening, validation, and expressing your feelings calmly and respectfully. Behavior number 5, Lack of Empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another person. When we lack empathy, we fail to connect emotionally with our partners. It's important to cultivate empathy by actively listening, validating emotions, and showing understanding. Developing empathy requires actively listening to the other person's perspective and validating their emotions. Put yourself in their shoes and try to understand their point of view. Practice empathy through small acts of kindness, support, and showing genuine interest in their well-being. Behavior number 6, Controlling Behavior. Controlling behavior can quickly erode trust and independence in any relationship. It can manifest as excessive jealousy, possessiveness, or a constant need to micromanage the other person's life. Building a healthy relationship requires trust, respect, and the freedom to be oneself. Addressing controlling behavior requires open communication and setting clear boundaries. Have an honest conversation about each person's needs and desires, and find a balance that respects individual autonomy. Trust in your partner judgment and allow them the freedom to make their own choices. Behavior number 7, Dishonesty. Finally, dishonesty is perhaps the most destructive behavior of all. Whether it's lying, hiding information, or breaking promises, dishonesty undermines the foundation of trust. Trust is the bedrock of any relationship, and without it, it becomes difficult to build a strong and lasting connection. Rebuilding trust after dishonesty can be challenging, but it's not impossible. It starts with acknowledging the hurt caused and being genuinely remorseful. Take responsibility for your actions, be transparent, and make a commitment to honesty moving forward. Rebuilding trust takes time and consistent integrity. Remember, relationships require effort and a commitment to growth. By avoiding these destructive behaviors and fostering open communication, empathy, trust, and respect, we can create healthier and more fulfilling connections with the people we care about. Remember, addressing these behaviors requires effort, patience, and a willingness to change. 
seek professional help if needed, such as couples counseling or therapy, to work through these issues. By fostering healthy communication, trust, and empathy, you can rebuild and strengthen your relationships. Thank you for watching. Remember, relationships are a journey, and we all make mistakes. The important thing is to learn from them, grow together, and create a loving and supportive environment. Remember to subscribe for more relationship tips and advice.